Uh, here's a question for you. This came from my experience running a gym. I want to know first how many owners there are of the gyms you have. And then secondly, how, if there are other owners and, or even if there's not, how have you found people that you trust and how have you created agreement to the contractually or in other ways that allows you to trust the work that they're providing that they won't undermine from you or steal from you or something of this nature? Sure. Um, so at FIM, I'm 90% owner. Um, when I started off, it was me and my friend who opened the gym with me. We were 50-50. Um, and it very quickly became like a, a one-sided show. Like I'm, I'm doing 95% of the stuff and, and he was not. So, you know, that, that was painful at the beginning. Um, and then it was just me. Um, and then as I was running it for a while, there were certain people in the company that, um, they were just like consistently always there for us. Like if we needed someone to, you know, show up at the gym in the middle of the night, cause there's an alarm, like it was the same people just like so stoked about who we are, like our, our personal interpersonal relationships, cause we're all like there for each other. Um, so now, um, there's four different people who have equity in the gym. Three of them each have 3%. Um, and two of those people are, are like still in it, like trying to create value, get the gym to the next level. Um, and the plan is to like have them feel rewarded for that moving forward by them, like being able to get more equity, get on salary. Like, you know, the ideally the, the future is like bright and wide open for them. Um, and then as far as the other people in the company, um, the managers or, you know, the leaders or even the shareholders. Um, your question was like accountability and how do you make sure that they're, you know, there's kind of two pieces that are doing the thing that they said that they would do and also growing as individuals. Are they staying in the same spot or are they growing with the business, which is sort of essential if you have a growing business. Um, so the two things we do there are on the like check-in side, we have monthly key performance indicator meetings, KPI meetings, where I check in with, say, our, um, you know, member success person, and she's responsible for just two numbers at the gym. It's how many people cancel and how many friend referrals we have made, because she can, like, really control those two things by keeping the members happy and keeping them engaged. So when I meet with her, those are the only two things that she reports to me about, and then we go in deep about those, like, how can we make these things better? What have you tried? What's going on? Um, so all the managers have KPI meetings and then once every quarter, uh, so every three months, we do a evaluation, um, with pretty much everybody, all the managers do this with their coaches or their sales team. And then me and the, you know, higher order shareholders do it with our, uh, middle layer managers. And in evaluation, as we sit down, there's a whole form that goes through like all aspects of not only their job, but how they feel about their job and like how they feel about their career and their trajectory. Um, you know, and at the end, they sort of end up with a score because in each category, it's like out of five, how are you doing here? And they end up with a score at the bottom. And if it's a high score, then like cool rewards and high fives. If it's a medium low score, then we start creating performance improvement plans. We start setting goals. We have more frequent check-ins. Um, so, and, and we also like set up systems of mentorship for those people so that they have a connection either with me or, or Nathan, my operations manager, or someone outside of the company. Um, so that everyone has like a way to grow and a way to sort of have a barometer on how they're doing.